Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to talk about Article 6 of the Revised Penal Code. So Article 6 talks about consummated, frustrated, and attempted felonies. So before you watch this video, I highly recommend uh, to watch my previous video about development of a crime, what is indeterminate offense, subjective phase of the offense, as well as the distinction between preparatory acts and overt acts. So, Article 6, Consummated, Frustrated, and Attempted Felonies. So, consummated felonies as well as those which are frustrated and attempted are punishable. So, first, let's um, talk about attempted felonies. So, what is attempted felony? So, attempted felony is define on the third paragraph of article 6 which states that there is an attempt when the offender commences the commission of a felony directly by overt acts and does not perform all the acts of execution which should produce the felony by reason of some cause or accident other than his own spontaneous desistance so so again, there is an attempt, attempt when the offender begins the commission of a felony directly by overt acts. So the meaning of overt acts was discussed under my um, video um, uh, distinction of preparatory acts and overt acts. Yes, so, so again, when we say overt acts, it is... Uh, something uh, that is a physical activity or deed so he has not performed all the acts of execution which would produce the felony so when we say attempted felony um, yung offender is nag start na siyang mag commit ng act para maging uh, para i-accomplish yung felonious desire niya but unfortunately he was not able to complete all the acts necessary para ma-accomplish ma yung desire niya. So balik kulang yung acts na uh, nagawa niya so kaya hindi na produce yung felony. So what are the elements of attempted felony? So, uh, before we go to the elements, we need to go first to the... We need to understand first the important words or phrases that is used under this article. So, one phrase is that commences the commission of a felony by overt acts. So, again, when we say overt acts, it is some physical activities or deeds. So, when the commission of a felony deemed commenced commins directly by overt act. So, when the following two requisites are present. So, kailan uh, magiging commission of a felony through directly overt acts? <laughs> oh my gosh, napakalito. So, requisites here is number one, that there, uh, that there be external act. The number two is such external acts have direct connection with the crime intended to be committed. So, um, external acts covers preparatory acts and acts of execution. So, it, it, it was discussed under uh, my video about development of a crime. So, you might want to check it out. So, the external acts. So, here. So, under the uh, attempted felony so the external act must be related to the overt act of the crime the offender intended to commit so the external acts re referred to the first requisite must be related to the overt acts of the crime the offender intended to commit so they should not be mere preparatory acts so when we say preparatory acts so preparatory acts ordinarily is not punishable Yes, but in some cases, uh, they are. While acts of execution is that something that is punishable under the RPC. So for 
preparatory acts do not have direct connection with the crime which the offender intends to commit. So, dapat yung yung nakumit niya is related to some overt acts, hindi preparatory acts. So, dapat a physical activity or deed yung nagawa. Hindi yung preparatory acts lang, which is um, something like a mere planning. So, planning of a certain crime that is only a preparatory acts. So, hindi pa siya nagawa. So, pinag-iisipan pa lang. Okay? So, it is it should be an overt act because preparatory acts do not have direct connection with the crime which the offender intends to commit. So now let us proceed to the elements of attempted felony. So number one is that the offender commences the commission of the felony directly by overt act. So when we say directly by overt act, so, the law requires that the offender commences the commission of the felony directly by overt act. So, one offender who personally executes the commission of a crime can be guilty of attempted felony. So, the word directly here suggests that the offender must commence the commission of the felony by taking direct part in the execution of the act so for example so if a induce b to kill c but b refuse to do it a cannot be held liable for attempted homicide because although there was an attempt on the part of a such an attempt was not done directly with physical activity the inducement made by a to b is in the nature of a proposal which is not ordinarily punished by law so proposal and conspiracy and proposal to commit felony i think that is under article 8 of the revised penal code i also have a video for that and so ganun nga so the first requisite is dapat di directly by overt act so ikaw, mis ik um, ikaw mismo is is directly na part sa pag-commit ng crime na yon. So, ay mere preparation or preparatory act. So, is not um, attempted. So, so another example. I mean, daka... <laughs> so, i-continue natin yung example. So, but B, for someone to his agreement... With A, commence the commission of a crime by shooting C with intent to kill but missed and did not injure C. Both A and B are guilty of attempted felony because of conspiracy. So, as a rule under conspiracy, so when the, the act of one is the act of all. So, pag nag-conspire na silang dalawa sa pagpatay kay B, so that is a... Punishable pa rin si A because there is a conspiracy between A and B. And then the second element of attempted felony is that he does not perform all the acts of execution which should produce the felony. So, so if the offender has performed all the acts of execution and nothing more is left to be done, the, the stage of execution is that of a frustrated felony. So if a felony is not produced or a consummated felony if the felony is produced. So dito ang second element na ang second element ng attempted felony is that that does not perform all the acts of execution, meaning hindi niya na completo yung lahat ng acts na kailangan niyang gawin upang ma satisfy or ma accomplish niya yung felonious desire niya. Ganun. So if anything yet remained for him to do, he would be guilty of an attempted crime. This is cited under the case of U.S. versus Iduave, 36 Field 209. So meaning pag may natira pang acts na kailangan niyang act or um, what you call that? Kung may natira pang act na kailangan niyang gawin upang maging successful yung 
ni na gagawin niya. So, so that belongs to attempted felony. So, another example is in the case of People versus Lamaha. So, when they accuse for the purpose of entering the dwelling of another broke one board and unfastened another from the wall, but before he could start entering through the opening thus created, he was arrested by the policeman. So, the crime committed was only attempted trespass to dwelling because there was something yet for him to do that is to commence entering the dwelling through that opening in order to perform all the acts of execution so again sa attempted felony dapat hindi pa na kompleto ng offender yung acts or mga bagay na kailangan niyang gawin upang maging successful yung gusto niyang crime na i-commit. So, the third element of attempted felony is that by reason of some cause or accident. So, in attempted felony, the offender fails to perform all the acts of execution which should produce the felony because of some cause or accident. So, so meaning, Hindi na complete, complete. Hindi na kompleto ng offender yung pag-perform niya ng act. It is because by reason of some cause or accident. So first, let's have an example of cause. So, so A picked the pocket of B inside of which there was a wallet containing 50 pesos. So before A could remove it from the pocket of B, the latter grabbed. A's hand and prevented him from taking it. So, in this case, A failed to perform all the acts of execution that is, taking the wallet because of a cause. That is, the timely discovery of B by B of the overt act of A. And, accident. So, A aimed his pistol at B to kill the latter. But when he pressed the trigger, it jumped and no bullet was fired from the pistol. So, hindi niya nagawa yung certain activities kasi nga may aksidente na nangyari na napigilan yung offender para gawin or para kompletuhin yung acts or overt act na kanyang gagawin. <laughs> Adjust na lang guys. So, the last element is other than his own spontaneous desistance. So, when we say desistance, it is um, uh, cease or to stop. To cease or to stop doing something. So, desist. Yung parang huminto ka or tumigil ka sa paggawa ng something. And when we say spontaneous, it means involuntary. Involuntary siya, which it means unplanned, hindi mo siya pinano, ganun. So, if the actor does not perform all the acts of execution by reason of his own spontaneous desistance, there is no attempted felony. The law does not punish him. So, ibig sabihin, if the if the actor, so if ang actor or if ang offender hindi pa niya na-perform lahat or hindi pa na-perform yung acts of execution na needed para makompleto niya yung crime na gusto niyang i-commit that is because of his own spontaneous desistance so there is no attempted felony. Kasi like tumigil siya sa pag-commit ng ganun. So, Ang reason nito is that it is a sort of reward granted by law to those who having one foot on the verge of crime heed, heed, heed the call of their conscience, 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 and return to the path of righteousness. So, yun yung reason. So, bale, hindi ka mapap mapapanis siya ng lo kasi parang binibigyan kanila ng reward kasi hindi mo tinuloy yung supposedly crime na gagawin mo so one who takes part in planning a criminal act but desist in its actual commission is exempt from criminal liability for after taking part in the planning he could have desisted 
desisted from taking part in the actual commission in the crime by listening to the call of his conscience. 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 This is under the case of People versus Velia Corte. So the desistance may be through fear or remorse. This is stated under the case of People versus Pambaya. So it is not necessary that it be actuated by a good motive. The code requires only that the discontinuance of the crime comes from the person who has begun it and he stops off his own free will. So meaning, hindi importante if ang reason ng desistance mo or if ang reason kung bakit mo tinigil yung pag-commit mo ng crime is about fear or uh, remorse. So it is not important as long as uh, ikaw na physically or gustong gawin yung act, ikaw mismo yung nag or wag nang ituloy yung act. Ah, basta, so a decision should be made before the before all the acts of execution are performed. So for example, a stole a chicken under the house of B one evening. Realizing that what he did was wrong, A returned the chicken to the place under the house of B. Since the crime of theft was already was already consummated, the return of the stolen property does not relieve A of criminal responsibility. So A had already performed all the acts of execution which produced the crime of theft before he returned the chicken. So dapat yung desistance, before mo gawin yung desistance mo, dapat hindi pa na-perform yung acts or hindi pa na-perform uh, yung lahat ng acts na didad para ma-consummate mo yung crime. Kasi pag na-perform mo na lahat ng acts, so it could be either frustrated or consummated na hindi na siya magiging attempted. So, A attacked and wounded B in the abdomen with a sharp-edged weapon, causing a wound serious enough to have produced death. So, A was about to assault B again, but this time, A desisted and left B. B was taken to the hospital by another person because of the timely and skillful medical treatment by A. By A. By a physician, B did not die. So, it will be noted that when A desisted, he had already inflicted a mortal wound, wound on B, which could have produced his death, were it not for the timely intervention of a physician. So, A is liable for frustrated homicide. Kasi, na-perform na. So, sa desistance din. So, yung crime na ginawa mo before ka na-desist is hindi yun magiging exempted. Hindi yun magiging kasali sa pagiging exempted mo sa criminal liability na ginawa mo. The desistance which exempt from criminal liability has reference to the crime intended to be committed and has no reference to the crime actually committed by the offender before his desistance. So A with intent to kill fired his pistol at B but did not hit the, late, the latter. B cried and asked A not to shoot him. A desisted from firing his pistol again at B. Is A criminally liable? The answer is yes, not for attempted homicide because he desisted before he could perform all the acts of execution but for grave threats which was already committed by him when he desisted. So, it must be borne in mind that the spontaneous desistance of a malfactor exempts him from criminal liability for the intended crime, but it does not exempt him from the crime committed by him before his desistance. This is under the case of People versus Lizada. So, so ito yung sinasabi ko. So, yung mga crime na nagawa mo na or na accomplish mo na or na perform mo na is hindi yun uh, hindi yun kasali sa exemption mo kung nagdesist ka na kung desist patay kung uh, yes kung nagdesist basta ganun ganun na siya be so illustration of a case where the accused 
where the accused inflicted injuries. So the accused before the court was should an accused who admittedly shot the victim but is shown to have inflicted only a slight wound be held accountable for the death of the victim victim due to the fatal wound caused by his co-accused the rule is uh the case was ruled that the slight wound did not cause the death of the victim nor materially contribute to it so his liability should therefore be limited to the slight injury he caused however the fact that he inflicted a gunshot wound to the victim shows the intent to kill so the use of a gunfire at another certain leads to no other conclusion that, than that there is intent to kill so he is therefore liable of a crime of attempted homicide and not merely for slight physical injury so this is under the case of Araneta Jr. versus Court of Appeals so so yun lang po yung about sa attempted felony so again yung kailangan nating tandaan under attempted felony is yung mga elements niya so may apat siyang elements again the first one is there should be a direct overt act Tama ba? So, the first element is there uh, directly by overt act. So, dapat physically ginawa. So, kapag preparatory acts lang, so, hindi siya mapupunta dun sa um, uh, hindi siya maka-under sa attempted felony. So, dapat overt acts talaga at directly participated by the offender itself. And then, the second element is he does not perform all the acts of execution which should produce the felony. So, meaning kulang yung ginawa niyang overt acts para ma-accomplish yung crime na gusto niyang i-accomplish. And then the third one is that the offender's act is not stopped by his own spontaneous desistance. Meaning, yung act niya, dapat hindi voluntarily na sa kanya nang galing na uh, sa kanyang own decision na wag na nalang ituloy. Kasi, if uh, nag-desist yung um, yung offender, so meaning exempted na siya sa criminal liability. Again, the reason for that is that the law would grant it as a reward against those person na nandun na sa point na gagawin yung crime pero na konsensya siya at saka hindi na niya itinuloy. So, again, the third element should be the offender should not be stopped by his own um, spontaneous desistance. And then, number four is that not performance of the acts of execution was, was due to cost or accident other than his own spontaneous desistance. So, meaning, the reason kung bakit hindi niya na-complete lahat ng acts or... So, again, so, kaya niya hindi na-complete lahat ng acts na necessary para ma-accomplish niya yung felonious act niya is that uh, may cause or accident na naging hindrance sa accomplishment ng kanyang acts. So, ayun po lahat sa under attempted felony. Now let us proceed to the second stage of acts of execution of a felony which talks about frustrated felony. So frustrated felony is defined under the second paragraph of Article 6 of the RPC. So it states that it is frustrated when the offender perform, perform, performs all the acts of execution which would produce the felony as a consequence but which nevertheless do not produce it by reason of causes independent to the will of the perpetrator. So unlike, unlike attempted felony, sa frustrated felony is yung offender is na perform niya lahat ng acts of execution na needed para ma-accomplish yung crime na gusto niyang gawin. So, this is the first element of frustrated felony. That the offender performs, performs, performs all the acts of execution. In frustrated felony, the offender must perform all the acts of execution. Uh, yes, sinabi ko nga. Nothing more is left to be done by the offender because he has performed the last act necessary to produce the crime. His element distinguishes this element distinguishes 
frustrated felony from attempted felony because again in attempted felony the offender does not perform all the acts of execution he does not perform the last act necessary to produce the crime he merely commences the commission of a felony directly by overt acts so thus if a with the intent to kill fires his gun at B, the discharge of the gun is only an overt act. If the slug fired from the gun misses B or the wound inflicted on B is not mortal, the last act necessary to produce the crime of homicide is not yet performed by A. But if the wound inflicted is mortal, that is sufficient to cause death, A performs the last act. So, if no medical attendance is given, B would surely die. So, in homicide or murder, the crime is consummated if the victim dies. If the victim survives, the crime is only frustrated. This is stated under the case of U.S. versus Iguave. So, so I will not um, read the example cases now. So, I'll just link it on the I'll just write I'll just write it in my description box those um, following cases or example cases in which the stage of execution was held to be frustrated because the wound inflicted was mortal and also those example cases in which the stage of execution was held to be attempted only and not frustrated because there was no wound inflicted or the wound inflicted was not mortal. Now let us proceed to the second element of frustrated felony. So all, all the acts performed would produce the felony as a consequence. So meaning lahat ng na-perform na acts ng offender is, is magre-result talaga siya ng crime or felonious act. So, all the acts of execution performed by the offender could have produced a felony as a consequence. So, for example, when A approached B stealthily but beha from behind and made a movement with his right hand to strike B on the back with a deadly knife, but the blow, instead of reaching the spot intended, landed on the frame of the back of the chair on which B was sitting at the time and did not cause the slight physical injury on B. The stage of execution should have been that of attempted murder only because without inflicting a deadly wound upon a vital spot of which B should have died, the crime of murder would not be produced as a consequence. So, dapat yung consequence na act na ginawa ng offender is mag-result siya into a crime or a felony. So, in the case of People versus Kalalo, sustains the above opinion, above opinion, yung previous example, na in crimes against persons such as murder, murder, which requires the victim should die to consummate the felony, it is necessary for the prestation frustration 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 of the same that a mortal wood is inflicted bakit kaya frustrated no pwede namang stressed or depressed depressed felon frustrated talaga so the third so ayun na nga again yung second element is dapat yung acts na gagawin is magre-result siya into a felony. And now the third element of frustrated felony is but the felony is not produced. So even though na-commit lahat ng mga necessary acts na needed in order for that crime to be successful, ang ending niya is hindi successfully na-commit yung crime. So that is a the third element in which the felony is not produced. So, if frustrated felony, again, the acts performed by the offender do not produce the felony because if a felony is produced, it would be a consummated. So, so if all acts 
is ginawa or na perform ng offender but unfortunately hindi na commit or hindi na produce yung felony so it is a frustrated felony kasi if ang if na perform na offender lahat ng acts and then nagresult ito ng felony then it is not a frustrated felony it would be under consummated felony na and now let's proceed to the last element under frustrated felony which is independent of the will of the perpetrator. So even if all the acts of execution have been performed, the crime may not be consummated because certain causes may prevent its consummation. These certain causes may be the interventions of third person who prevented the consummation of the offense or may be due to the perpetrator's own will. If the crime is not produced because of the timely intervention of a third person, it is frustrated. If the crime is not produced because the offender himself prevented its consummation, there is no frustrated felony because the fourth element is not present. Note here that fourth element says that the felony is not produced by reason of causes independent to the will of the perpetrator. Hence, if the cause which prevented the consummation of the offense was the perpetrator's own and exclusive will, the fourth element does not exist. So the fourth element here means here means that yung mga causes, uh, yung mga reason or causes kung bakit hindi na tuloy or hindi na accomplish yung certain crime is independent siya sa will ng perpetrator. Meaning, hindi ginusto ng, ng offender yun na mangyari. So, like for example, if yung, open, if yung offender is sumuko siya, that is a voluntary will. So, if ganun, hindi siya magiging frustrated. So, dapat ang independent siya dun sa will ng perpetrator. Okay? So, for example, uh, when we say independent, so example for that is the timely intervention of the third person. Yung ganun. So, so let's have an example here. So, a doctor conceived the idea of killing his wife, and to carry out his plan, he mixed arsenic with the soap, soup, soup of his victim. Immediately after the victim took the poisonous food, the offender suddenly felt such a twinge, twink, twink, of conscience that he himself washed out the stomach of the victim and administered to her the adequate antidote. Would this be a frustrated parasite? Certainly not. For even though the subject phase of the crime had already been passed, the most important requisite of a crime here, example, that the cause which prevented the consummation of the offense be independent of the will of the perpetrator was lacking. So meaning wala yung fourth element ng frustrated felony. So the crime cannot be considered attempted parasite because the doctor already performed all the acts of execution. At most, the crime committed would be physical injuries, as the poison thus administered, being an injurious substance, could cause the same. So the intent of kill which the doctor entertained in the beginning disappeared when he prevented the poison from producing the death. So, yun yun. So, dapat yung intervention is independent siya dun sa will or kagastuhan ng offender. So, the question is, is the uh, one question is that, is there frustration due to inadequate or ineffectual means? So, such frustration is placed on the same footing as an impossible attempt. Okay? So, so, yun, yun lang yung about sa frustrated felony. So, again, ang elements, so may apat na elements sa under frustrated felony. So, the first one that is that the offender performs all the acts of execution. So, dapat yung offender na perform yan lahat ng kailangan gawin upang maging successful yung crime na gagawin niya. The second one is that the acts performed would produce a felony as a consequence. So, dapat yung mga acts na gagawin niya is yung outcome niya or yung result niya is felony or a crime. 
And then, number three is that even, number, a third element is that even though the offender performs all the necessary acts in order for it to accomplish his uh, felonious act or in order to accomplish a crime, the third element should be the felony is not produced. So, dapat hindi na produce yung felony, unsuccessful siya. So, walang felony na, I mean, hindi successfully na perform yung uh, supposedly outcome na iniisip niya, yung ganon. And the fourth and last reason is by reason of causes independent to the will of the perpetrator. So, yung number three na element, which is hindi na produce yung felony, the reason nun is independent siya sa kagustuhan ng offender or or perpetrator. So, yun po lahat under um, frustrated felony. Now, let us go to the last um, stage of the acts of execution of a felony, which is a consummated felony. So, consummated felony is defined again under the second paragraph of Article 6 of the RPC. And it says here that a felony is consummated when all the nest when all the elements necessary for its execution and accomplishment are present. So, ito na, last na siya, no? So, consummated felony. So, uh, let's go first to the important words and phrases na kailangan nating maintindihan under a uh, consummated felony. So, first one is all the elements. So, necessary for its execution and accomplishment are present. So, here in consummated felony, all the elements necessary for its execution and accomplishment must be present. So, every crime has its own elements, which must all be present to constitute a culpable violation of a percept of a law. So, here... So, here's a consummated felony. So, para maging consummated yung felony, dapat all the elements necessary uh, sa accomplishment ng isang crime ay nandun, present siya sa, sa ginawa or, yeah, ginawa ng offender. So, as you may know, under the book 2 of the Revised Penal Code, which talks about the crimes and the penalty of each crimes na gagawin ng isang offender or tao is... Each crimes is may iba't ibang element siya. So, sa para maging consummated, so dapat lahat ng elements is na-achieve ng offender or perpetrator. So, and if lahat yun na-achieve, so that would be under consummated felony. So, yun lang sa consummated felony. So, by the way, may iba pa pala akong video na separated dito sa Article 6 which is also relevant na hindi ko na-mention dun sa intro ko. So, I think I also have a distinction between frustrated and attempted and attempted or frustrated from impossible crime. Yung mga ganun. So, lahat ng mga videos na related dito sa Article 6 is ililink ililink down. Tama ba? Ilalagay ko siya sa description box. Okay? So, so, sinaparate ko yung mga videos na yun para hindi maging uh, masyadong mataas tong video na to at para hindi siya masyadong boring. Ganun. So, so, let us proceed. So, when not all the elements of a felony are proved. So, babasahin ko na lang ito ah. Mag-adjust na kayo. And pasensya to if most of the time binabasa ko yung books ko kasi hindi ko naman to memorize lahat. And I'm doing my best para maintindihan nyo yung mga binabasa ko. So, continue. So, when a felony has two or more elements and one of them is not proved by the prosecution during a trial, either, number one, the felony is not shown to have been consummated, or number two, the felony is not shown to have been committed, or number three, another felony is shown to have been committed. Thus, in the prosecution for homicide where the death of a victim is an element of the offense, if that element is absent because the victim did not die, the crime is not consummated. So, it would be, it, it is either attempted or frustrated. So, in taking personal property from another when the elements of intent to gain is lacking on the part of the person taking it, the crime of theft is not committed. 
Well, in the prosecution of Staffa under Article 315, if the element of deceit or abuse of confidence is not proved, there is no crime. There is only civil liability. But if the element of damage only is not proved, the accused may be found guilty for attempted or frustrated stapa. Stapa. Yeah. So, in the prosecution for robbery with violence against persons under Article 294, if the element of intent to gain is not proved, the accused can be found guilty of grave coercion under 286, another felony. And in the prosecution of forcible ab adoption under ab adoption? <laughs> abduction under Article 342, if the element is lewd, Lew design is not proved the accused may be held liable for kidnapping and serious illegal detention. Article under Article 267, another felony. Hence, all the elements of the felony for which the accused is prosecuted must be present in order to hold him liable, therefore, in its consummated state. So again, yung sinasabi ko lahat ng elements. For that certain crime is dapat present siya para maging consummated yung felony. So, so yun po. So, for summary, so this video is all about um, consummated, frustrated, and attempted felony. So, consummated, attempted, and frustrated felony is the stages of the act of execution of the offense. So, the first stage we have is attempted. So, under attempted, so, under attempted, so my my element siya. So, first element is that the offender commences the commission of a felony by di directly by overt act. So, dapat physically niya naginawa. At yung offender is part, uh, nagparticipate siya sa paggawa ng crime na yon. And then, number two, he does not perform all the acts of execution, execution which should produce a the felony. So, kulang or lacking yung ginawa niyang overt acts para hindi para maging successful yung commission niya ng crime and that number 3 the offender the offender's act is not stopped by his is not stopped by his own spontaneous resistance so hindi siya pinigilan ng kanyang own spontaneous resistance kasi kapag pinigilan siya again that would be an exempted so hindi na siya criminally liable so exempted na siya and then the fourth one is that non performance of all acts of execution was due to cause or accidents other than his own spontaneous resistance so hindi yung hindi pag perform niya or lacking or incomplete performance of that specific act para maging successful yung crime niya is Cause none is some other cause or accident. So, we also talk about the second stage, which is the frustrated felony. So, under the frustrated felony, may apat din siyang elements. And then, number one, that the offender performs all the acts of execution which is needed to accomplish the crime or felony. So, unlike sa attempted, diba, sa frustrated na perform niya lahat. And then, the second one is that the acts performed would produce a felony as a consequence. So, dapat yung acts na ginawa niya is magre-result yun ng felonious act. Felonious act or crime. And then, number three, but the felony is not produced. So, even though na-perform lahat ng offender or perpetrator, lahat ng necessary acts ng na ma-produce yung crime niya, unfortunately, hindi siya naging successful or hindi na-produce na yung felony, number four. Hindi siya na-produce by reason and causes in the, of causes independent to the will of the perpetrator. So, yung bali, uh, hindi ginusto, hindi voluntary nung, nung reason kung bakit hindi natuloy yung commission ng act. And then, the last one is what we call the consummation of felony, wherein ang... Um, requisites lang or elements lang is dapat all elements necessary for its execution and accomplishment are present. Meaning, yung iba't-ibang crimes na na-define under RPC is may iba't-ibang elements, diba? So, para maging consummated yun, dapat lahat ng elements is ma-complete. So, so, ayun lang. I hope you learned something. Again, ililink ko sa description yung mga relevant um videos ko para sa article 6 kasi separate ko na siya so thank you so much for watching